Good day of yours, well, I recently got very lucky in eBay and I got a very good bargain. I got myself a nice antique Variac. It's a, um, try and turn it here. It's a Warburton Frankie Limited, Sydney. It's a 8, 8, 8 amp output max, which isn't pretty good for what I need it for. 240 volt input, obviously. 0 to 280 volt. Although I cannot find the date on this thing. It's got a serial number 40550. So I, I, that wouldn't be 1950, I doubt it. But, hmm, 1574 serial number. So, well, it's 15th week of 1974. i got to give it a good clean down and pull it all apart and get these dents out of the um, outer mesh and the big dent there it's got. The um, windings aren't burnt, so that's very good. There's no burning or scoring or anything on the brushes or the brush or the um, the top of the winding. So, and we might have to um, under these bolts here, slide the top assembly off, get all this handle and everything off. Just clean that sliding and contacts, then lubricate the bearings because it's just very hard to turn. But oh, it is an industrial. This isn't um, domestic quality. This is a very, very, very heavily built. Um, device very strongly made. It's got a new, new modern foot clips or 439 series plug top with 70s era cord with where they used black and red, for, red for active and black for neutral. Now they use blue for um, neutral and brown for active. So yeah, fifth. That's a. Th I think that's 15 amp cord on a. 10 amp variac and it's got an old clip saw. I don't know what series that is, but that's definitely the 1970s. Patent 223445. It's a 1970s plug uh, socket. I'm going to be testing it on this old Hitachi 1970s vacuum cleaner. But I won't be doing anything that photonic induction will be doing with it and blowing things up with it. Uh, it's good for my repairs. <coughs> Repairing old radios and stuff. This is very useful for that. Oh, let's get this all set up. I'll turn it on. Yeah, it's had a hard life. The bottom's all been smashed. The seals are all gone. As a result, the vacuum cleaner does not have very good suction. It's Hitachi Limited, made in Singapore. 600 watt, 2.7 amp motor. Yeah, 600 watt wasn't very, um, it's not very, uh, it's not a very um, powerful for a vacuum cleaner nowadays. So I've got a pressure indicator that tells you how full the, um, the uh, container gets. I go ahead and plug this thing in, it's on zero. Turn on. It's doing something. 60. Seems to be working all right. Jet taping off. Yeah, I've got to lubricate the mechanism. 240 volt. 250 volt. 260 volt. 270 volt. And flood it to one of the 90 volts. Yeah, the suction's no better with that bulkage, that's for sure. So, yeah. Yep, no burning, which is a good thing. That means your contacts aren't hitting dust and arcing, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I've got to definitely lubricate the mechanism. So, yeah. I get eaten alive by mosquitoes here. But you can tell by, um, yeah, the way it looks inside, what era it's made in. There's no obvious burning or no pinning or anything like that, so it's in very good condition. Next thing I'll, I'll do some more videos on this. I'm going to look in the connection box and check the wiring. Make sure they're all good. Yeah, and I'll be pulling that apart and cleaning them, that slider, assembling the contacts and getting this 
um, wheel freed up so it's, I can turn it on one hand. See, I've got the um, traditional Variac badge on it. So, yeah, let's see if I can test it on this compressor. It's an 8 amp Variac. Let's see what the motor um I think that's only a. Uh, yeah, 10 amp to kickstart the motor. But it will charge your capacitor slowly and it will start very, very slowly. So, But I won't be doing it anyway because it's. Yeah, it hasn't clicked on pressure. It's full. Okay, Bills. That's my um. Yeah, I got it for a good price too, so. So, yeah. Try and unplug this and give you more detail. Look at this plug socket. I forget what series that is, but I've got to clean the contacts and they're a bit um, oxidised. But yeah, they're definitely not in 70s era. So, yeah, next video will be on this pulling it apart, taking its dents out, giving it a good clean and just restoration. Because, um, yeah, it is an antique. Very heavily built. You've got grub screws that lock the um, rotor onto the, the shaft and your handle is made of plastic. Very, heavy, very heavy duty plastic, like a valve handle. There's a grub screw in there. And this is brass. Painted black. So yeah, there's no... nothing's burnt, so it's good. If I can flip it up for a second. There's a button of it. So yeah, there's a bearing in there you gotta just clean out, which just put a bit of um, automatic transmission fluid, which is good for electronics. And the top one I'll just put a bit in there. Nothing, yeah, it's all in working order. Try and see if we can get a good look at the brush, what farmer that is. S40550, it's an antique looking um, label there too. The brush itself is in very good condition, it's not worn down or anything, so. Yeah, it's got a little bit of um, dings in it, but I'll take care of them. So yeah. Okay, viewers, since this needs to be um, well below a certain pressure to kickstart, I won't be putting that in the Variac, but I've got this old Kelvinator impression series. Neaton 90s era refrigerator with crap stored in it. Apparently that's the slow on gas, but I don't know. It's a Singapore made Matsushita melon shaped compressor, one of those really funny overly ones. I'm going to give it a test on this. Of course, you don't go stupid turning it up to 280 volt to blow shit up like that, so. As I said, this is just my repair video, my repair um, jobs. Should hear a click and that thing should kick start at a certain voltage. Okay, 100 volts, it's just kick started. The American voltage, 120, 140. Okay, it's got a PTC starting relay, so it's probably gone out. Yeah. That's something I learnt. If it's got a PTC thermistor control starting relay, if you do this with it, you hear it as it did, it kicked. And it heard a little tink, something clicked, so the relay, starting relay pops open to prevent the compressor from burning out. So, yeah, modern refrigerators have that. So, uh, yeah. But it did get a, hear a little a couple of reciprocates of the piston and then it clicked out. So, you can actually test little things like that with this. But it's an 8 amp max. Output. You wouldn't put any, any no load heavier than eight amps on that. So you wouldn't be doing um, window air conditioners unless it's a big 15 or 20 amp unit, which these and 15 and 20 amps are very expensive. So yeah, thanks for watching.